Hi friends, welcome once again to one more session of GDNT. In this session, we are going to discuss regarding datum target symbol, the mostly asked question in uh, interviews. In most of the time, they are going to ask a uh, question on datum target symbol. This is one of the important topic. Uh, what are the differences between datum target uh, symbol and then datum feature symbol? So, in case of datum feature symbol, we saw that the whole uh, feature is considered actually for the datum feature symbol. Here, a part of the feature is considered like a uh, uh, area of my interest. So, hashed area of my interest or line or point is considered. So, that's the reason it's known as datum target. So, how do we uh, represent this? Uh, here, it basically consists of a circle which is divided into two different holes, two holes horizontally by a horizontal line. The upper of uh, uh, indicates the size of the area. The lower half indicates a letter, alphabet letter, which indicates the datum, and then followed by a target number. Uh, we can see those things here. So there is a circle which is divided into two different halves, upper half and then lower half. Lower half consists of a alphabet uh, letter indicating datum, and then number which indicates target number. So a radial line is attached to the datum points to datum target points or datum target line or datum target area. So a radial line is basically attached uh, for the representation purpose. So that targets to the datum you can observe here. So there is a radial line which is attached to the datum target point. This is a tar datum target point. And then uh, uh, this uh, symbolic representation, one end of the radial line is attached to the symbolic representation, the other end is attached to the datum target point. Uh, here you can observe lower half consists of two different letters, P and then 2. P is nothing but point. Uh, it indicates the datum and then this uh, number indicates datum target number. So size and shape of the target area is entered in the upper half area or it has to be left blank. If you don't have uh, enough space there, uh, then it can be placed outside uh, by using an arrow. By using an arrow, you can place it outside. You can see here, the size can be entered here directly. So dia 9.5, this is basically circular target area. The size of the circular target area is 9.5 dia. Uh, if you don't have space uh, with the help of an arrow, place it outside or if you have space, place it inside. So this is rectangular target area. So with the arrow, it is mentioned here. So square target area that with the symbol, it is entered here. So we discussed earlier. So this is the position of the target point and then this is the symbolic representation of the target point. Uh, that's all for today. Thank you friends, have a nice time, do subscribe to the videos and keep watching.